With another week of NFL action concluding, this week being week 16, a variety of teams have already secured their playoff positioning within the 2016 NFL playoffs. In fact, 10 of the 12. And also within week 16, we saw a variety of customs and PEs flourish as the Christmas holidays is finally upon us. So without further ado, venture with your man Pierce Simpson as we explore the latest edition of Gridiron Kicks. Now, as we get closer and closer to the NFL playoffs, a variety of teams and a variety of players begin to showcase their personality and their style as the regular season begins to wind down. At the number 11 spot within our starting 11 countdown is Dre Kirkpatrick of the Cincinnati Bengals. His Bengals took on the Denver Broncos on Monday Night Football in which he sought the help of creative custom kicks that created this custom model, the Under Armour Low, that incorporated his very own superhero along the side panel and forefoot. We see Bengals hues throughout as well as Bengals imagery within the entire model. This is successive weeks in which Kirkpatrick has donned his very own superhero within his cleats. At number 10 is Emmanuel Sanders of the Denver Broncos, who caught this touchdown pass from Brock Osweiler, rocking what looks to be an orange PE of the Nike Mercurial Superfly. At number nine is Earl Thomas of the Seattle Seahawks. Although he got jumped over by Todd Gurley, he sported this intriguing PE of the Air Jordan 7 in their matchup against the St. Louis Rams. At number eight is Deshaun Jackson of the Washington Redskins. He spurned his former team, rocking this all gold prototype of a brand black silhouette as he is a recent signee with the brand. At number seven is Vontez Burfick of the Cincinnati Bengals. He enlisted the help of creative custom kicks that laced him up with this Tasmanian Devil custom of an Under Armour silhouette in which he sported on Monday Night Football against the Denver Broncos. At number six is the Wiley veteran and a future Hall of Famer in Charles Woodson. You can check out over at the site a Gridiron Kicks classic in which we chronicle Charles Woodson's best moments throughout the NFL. He rocked this Air Jordan 7 PE in his last home game in Oakland against the San Diego Chargers. At number five is Killer Cam Newton of the Carolina Panthers. Although the Panthers will suffer their first defeat of the season at the hands of the Atlanta Falcons, he sported his usual C1N prototype that incorporated Carolina blue hues throughout the upper, and this week, a silver outsole. At number four is Janoris Jenkins of the St. Louis Rams. He enlisted the help of talented, up-and-coming artist Silsbrock that incorporated artistic hues throughout the upper of various colors of the Nike Vapor Speed Mid. This is the second week in a row in which Janoris Jenkins has had a high placement within the starting 11 countdown. And now for the top three within the starting 11 countdown, we have at the number three spot, Bashar Breeland of the Washington Redskins. As always, he sought the help of illustrative creations that fused the Grinch within the upper of this Nike Hirachi silhouette. With the festive hues throughout, including Christmas lights and the aforementioned holiday character, this is a strong showing from the duo, whose consistent work throughout the year has our eyes on them as creator of the year, potentially. At the number two spot is the work of Creative Custom Kicks, who helped my five alumni, Ricky Jean Francois of the Washington Redskins, create this custom model of the Nike Lunar B Speed TD. This is a strong showing for the defensive lineman and may be one of the strongest silhouettes of the year thus far. They even went to ESPN Countdown to showcase their work as seen within their Instagram accounts. And now for our number one spot within the starting 11 countdown belongs to who else and none other than Muhammad Sanu of the Cincinnati Bengals. This has been a strong year for the wide receiver from Rutgers as this Christmas iteration of the Nike Vapor Speed Untouchable was very strong. Incorporating holiday hues throughout the upper, we see candy cane-like imagery along the heel tab, as well as ornaments throughout the model, incorporating a great fashion. He rocked this last night on Monday Night Football against the Denver Broncos, in which the Bengals unfortunately lost, but they have solidified their placement within the NFL playoffs this season. As always, Sanu continues to impress us, and maybe, and maybe, the MVP of this year in regards to footwear. With the college football playoffs set to start this New Year's Eve, a variety of teams are participating in their respective bowl matchups. This year's Peach Bowl will feature a custom work that caught our eye for Nomad Customs as he laced up Derwin James of the Florida State Seminoles in this custom Air Jordan 7 that incorporated garnet and gold throughout the upper. This is the second Air Jordan 7 PE that we've seen this year from an FSU player, the first one being Jalen Ramsey, their All-American cornerback. All in all, it'll be interesting to see what other models are sported this week during the college football bowl games. But until next time, I'm your host, Pierce Simpson, and thank you for tuning in to another edition of Gridiron Kicks.